Hey guys, this is your girl Carmise. Welcome back to my channel. No. Sis. Long time no see. So today I'm going to be talking about my first time. My first time smoking weed, smoking marijuana, smoking pot, being stoned as fuck, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? So if you're against smoking and all that, you can kindly exit off my video or whatever. And yeah, so let's get right into it. Okay, so here's a little backstory. I remember when I was in high school, I wasn't like a big fan of smoking and all that. And I remember like when my friends... I remember like when some of my friends would be smoking, I would tell them, oh, they'll be smoking, blah, blah. I mean, I didn't know really much about weed back then. I always was in the house um, playing with my cousins and all that, with my family members. I was never really, you know, social. I was never associated with like the outside world that much. And I was never, you know, you know, really hanging outside like that with my friends and all that. So I wasn't really that experienced to that type of lifestyle or just all that in general so i was never able to get a hold of it first of all i could have just like hit up a plug and just got it and then smoke it like that but like i wanted to be around people like i wanted to smoke for the first time with my friends you feel me i feel like it's crazy if you do it by yourself i don't know i feel like doing it by yourself is like no like have people with you you feel me and i never had people with me so i was never able to just smoke so that got me tight not like tight type, but I was upset because like every time I wanted to smoke or try to smoke, my friends would always have some type of excuse or we just never ever get around to it. So, <clears throat> so October 2017, I finally was able to, you feel me? So, October 2017 was um, my college homecoming. Well, it's my college now, but at the time it was not my college. At the time I was at a community college and the school that I'm in right now they were having a homecoming so me and my friend my friend told me about it kendra and we was like hey we out there we finna get lit cardi b was performing um at the concert at the homecoming all that so it was dumb lit and we were planning it we booked hotels i have all the snaps still so i will insert some snaps we booked a hotel, me and Kendra and then Chris and Mike. So me and Kendra on one bed, Chris and Mike on the other bed. We had tellies, we drank, we smoked, all that. It was dumb lit. Like the best experience ever. Like I want to do something like that again, but it was so much fun. And yeah, so that was my first time smoking there. And I was like, you know what, I have to because I just been waiting for the day where I could just, you know, get my mouth on it. Where I could just get, you know some weed like dang it's like my first time away from home ever i think not ever but like it was like a two day it looks like a two weekend type thing so i was really away from home like i was not home so this was my opportunity to do so you feel me so it's that it's that morning and we're at the community college we're at school me and Kajar are at school we're gonna go after school so after class we hop in the car and then we go get Mike. Hey, we get Mike and then we pick up other people and then we head on the road. Well, we didn't head on the road. We went to our last stop. We went to go pick up another friend and he was at this college, another college. And um, I guess Mike wanted to smoke there before we head the road. He rolled up the weed or whatever and then we went, you know, in the woods or somewhere far away not far away but somewhere where we we're, we're gonna be able to be seen and all that because weed is still illegal i don't know why but it's still illegal in new york we go back there and then and then i was like i didn't i don't remember telling him it was my first time smoking i think kendra told him but he's like oh it's a feels so hype when he heard it was my first time smoking and um yeah he made me feel dumb comfortable and he just like told me like oh you have to inhale like he told me like inhale and then like he kind of taught me how to you know and i did just that and um i didn't feel a big dramatic difference but i did feel a little high but when i tell you we were smoking all day like for the first time i smoked I, I i even took a snap of the first time i smoked so i'll insert all that i probably didn't inhale it right or anything like that because honestly it's my first time smoking but we were smoking like the whole entire day. Once we got to Albany, we ate. I didn't feel that different. I probably wasn't inhaling it <clears throat> correctly. So as we're just smoking throughout the day, yo, tell me how. I don't know if it was the second night, but I think it was. Cause 
I'm over here smoking and drinking. Keep in mind, I'm drinking too, so I'm not just smoking at this point. The second night, tell me how they're rolling up again. We're just chilling on the bed, and we're about to, you know, we're about to siphon stuff. But we're hotboxing in the um in the hotel room. You feel me? I don't know how many times I smoked or how much I smoked, but that time around it was nighttime, and I can't really remember much, but. All I know is, I remember I was on my bed, on the bed, while they were rolling up. Yo, we're all we're just acting crazy. Like, we all were just acting. Everything was in slow motion. You feel me? I never felt that experience ever again. And I look you want to, but <coughs> I haven't felt that in a, um, since I first smoked. But I literally felt like everything was in slow motion. I was on the bed. I was like this, rocking like this. <laughs> I remember this. I was like this on the bed, like what the fuck? And it was just funny. Like we we're all just like out of it. Out of it. Not Mike and Chris though. Like they're real stoners. Like they they've been smoking for I don't know how long. They were just chilling on the bed, rolling up. Now I'm over here like this. My friend Kendra's like this. <laughs> Touching everybody, like, okay. I don't know what time it was, but we went to go get breakfast the next morning. And we did not sleep. We was just chilling. But I was sleeping. Somehow I ended up on my bed and when I woke up, I woke up to Chris trying to wake me up. Mike and Chris trying to wake me up. I'm like, why are these niggas waking me up right now? So I wake up and they're like, yo, let's go get breakfast. Let's go get breakfast. I'm like, go get breakfast. Mind you, I was so out of it. Like before all that, um, before I even went to bed, I remember I was in the I was in the bathroom trying to put on my contacts. I could not get those things on for nothing. I could not get my contacts on. I was trying to, I, for first I was trying to brush my teeth. I was like, yo, I gotta get the taste, I gotta get the smell off and the taste off of me. Brushing my teeth. My tongue was so yellow from all the weed that I smoked, the drinks. Like, my tongue was like kind of yellowish. And I was like, damn. So I was here scrubbing my tongue. And all of that, trying to get everything clean, like scrubbing everything. I tried getting my contacts on. I couldn't get my contacts on for nothing. You feel me? For nothing, I couldn't get my contacts on. So I go to sleep, and then, and then I wake up to Mike and, and Chris trying to wake me up, talking about, oh, let's go get breakfast downstairs. And I'm like, what the fuck? First of all, I can't see. I'm nearsighted, so I could see up close before I wait. Hell no. Um, so I could not see for nothing. I had these pink pajama pants on. Mike gave me his red sneakers and I looked like a whole clown going into that breakfast area. And obviously people are there. There was a whole bunch of, you know, white people per se. That's what, that's all I could like envision. Like my vision was so blurry. So also was white people, like white figures. So I'm like, okay, I see white people and I remember getting a bagel with some potatoes. I just don't remember not eating, but I think I took a bite or two, but I just don't remember eating my bagel. But when I woke up, I thought I ate my bagel, but when I woke, when I woke up in the morning, or when I actually officially woke up, I felt better. Um, no hanger, no hangover, none of that. But yeah, the high was gone. Like the, like, yeah, the high was gone. And when I woke up, I was like, damn, I'm hungry like my stomach was starving like i was like what and i was like dang why am i so hungry and then mike was like curse ate your bagel i'm like what mike was talking about chris ate your bagel and your food i'm like how did this how did this guy eat my bagel how did he eat my food like i'm confused so i was like just starving i'm like dang but yeah, that night was so crazy. Like I would I want to get high like that again. Like that was some next type shit. I don't know if it's from like the alcohol and the weed combined together. Maybe it's because it was my first time smoking ever. I remember I was talking to myself on Snapchat. I don't know if it's cause like I don't know what made me act the way I acted. I don't know if it was from the alcohol, if it was from the weed, you feel me? I, when I was going home I got so scared because um we were in the hotel for two days, just smoking in it and doing all that in it. So my clothes were not clean. You feel me? Like my clothes were like had the weed smell in it. So I'm over here spraying my bag with perfume, and I'm asking my other friends like, "Does my bag smell like weed?" I'm about to, we're about to go home. Does my bag smell like weed? And they're all like, "Yes, it does." And I'm just like, "Oh 
my gosh, I'm gonna be just spraying and spraying and like spraying myself. By the time I get home, nobody questions anything. I go downstairs and I wash my clothes because honestly, my parents would have never expected me to be smoking weed like ever. Even a year later, when my, my, when my mom found out, like she let me, well, let me honest, I, I could tell you about how my mom found out, but um. It was a whole roller coaster, and yes, I still smoke weed. That was the best decision that I've ever made in my whole entire life. And yeah, I definitely want to do like smoke sessions and stuff, but I just don't know if I should bring that to YouTube. I feel like if I if I I feel like I do want to incorporate like smoke sessions and stuff, but I feel like I would do that on Instagram Live instead of my YouTube channel. I don't want any trouble with YouTube or anything like that with my channel trying to get monetized and all that. So I don't want to even think about bringing that onto YouTube um, I've thought about it obviously but yeah so let me know if you guys would like to see like small sessions and stuff on Instagram I would love to do that Instagram live like I feel like like it's just something to do while I'm smoking like when I'm smoking I love to listen to music I love to just chill and you know after that I'll be on Netflix I'll be on YouTube I'll be having the time of my life I'll be having the munchies all that and I would love to like do an Instagram live on that but yeah, definitely don't think I'm going to bring it to YouTube, at least not right now, because this channel is just freshly made, and I just don't want any trouble now, you know? So, yeah, let me know if I should do smoke sessions on Instagram Live. Do not judge me, you feel me? I've only been smoking for a year, over a year now, so I still have a lot to learn. I want to learn new tricks, new... I know how to ghost in hell, I know how to... I, I started to learn how to French inhale, but I'm just trying to, you know, trying to learn and stuff about the whole culture, aspect of weed, all that, like, I'm into it. So, let me know if you guys want to see the smoke session on Instagram, I don't know. but yeah. Anyways, that was my story of me smoking weed for the first time. Um, ever since that day, I never turned back. That's all I can say. Um, I didn't officially start, like, smoking heavily until probably that summer because I was never able to get my hand on it and it's hard trying to smoke it's like privately it's hard it's hard trying to smoke let your parents find it out let me know if you guys want to know these stories like my my first time having edibles my first you know crazy dramatic experience smoking weed all that but the first time I got high was definitely something crazy because I don't know, just the way I felt, like, the way I was just, like, everything felt so, I felt, like, so, so relaxed, like, dang. I don't think I could get that feeling anymore, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure if I could get that feeling, but, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, that was my story. If you guys want more, um, topics about weed, if you guys want more stories about what I've done, uh, my first time drinking, all that, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys really want to see the smoke sessions on Instagram live. Yeah, I got to come to the live though. Like, I can't be on live by myself, okay? Like, I can't be doing a smoke session on live by myself. I can set a date, a time, and let me know. But anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys turn your post notifications so you're notified every single time your girl uploads some videos. And yeah, ow! I'll see you guys later. Bye!